welcome back to our channel, we're Dos Cavazos, and this is Cobra Kai Season 5, Episode 3. So last episode, Terry discovered Chosen uh, in his plan. I really don't know where things are going to go from here. I speculated, like, could he reach out to somebody else, like a Mike Barnes? I know that was like a big speculated thing going into the season. Are they going to bring his character back? Johnny and Robbie also found Miguel. Um, it seems like they're going home. I said it last episode, though. I just can't imagine that that conflict's just over so soon, but I guess we'll see. Maybe it's like, okay, they do make it back home, and then maybe the dad does show up later or something. Mm -hmm. I could see that potentially happening, too. We also saw in the last episode some tension between Miguel and Sam. I don't know. I kind of fault Sam and Miguel, like, in their own kind of ways. Obviously, Miguel took off very, very quickly, but then the way Sam brought up, like, the situation, like, that timing, I thought was also kind of weird. So we'll see where their relationship kind of goes over after this. I was, I'm laughing because I was, I made a joke in the last episode, like, oh, what if they all swap again and they all start dating? I feel like this group of four between Sam, Robbie, uh, Tori, and uh, Miguel always just hop around from each other. <laughs> All right, well, if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our Patreon if you want to see our full-length reaction to this series. We also do have a second channel, Dos Cavazos IRL, where we do vlogs and other non-reaction content. And if you want to check that out, link's down below. All right, let's jump into this episode. No retaliation. No repercussions. All you have to do is stay out of my way. This is my backyard. I'm not the one who needs to go. Nothing in your life will ever be the same again. You're playing with fire, Danny boy. And I am gasoline. <laughs> Chosen. Put these gentlemen's drinks on my tap. Well, that was nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He plays like a, such a great villain for this show. Yeah. Breakfast is served. Oh, we're already home. Oh, okay. I was kind of curious how that drive home mm -hmm. was going to be with Robbie and Miguel. Everything okay with you and Robbie? Yeah, really good. Ride home was a little quiet, though. Oh, oh okay. okay. <laughs> Maybe you should practice. <laughs> it's burnt. <laughs> yo, yo, Sam, did you eat the entire box of grape encrustables? Grape encrustables? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did you specify grape? I don't know. Was that a product placement? You sure you okay? Is she sick? No, I'm not the best cook, but I can teach a kid a few things. I feel like it yeah. wasn't the food. That was a very quick and dramatic reaction. Johnny, I I'm a couple days late. <gasps> oh, shit! For what? I think I might be pregnant. What? Whoa, that'd be so crazy. I'd kind of be like down for that. Yeah, me for too. The story. All right, let's pee on a stick. I mean, you pee on a stick. It's still <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. Oh, he's like, oh, cute. Well, that sure will connect Miguel and Robbie. <laughs> that would definitely change the dynamics of the situation. Is this Barnes. Yeah. <laughs> Roddy's bad boy. He looks so suave. Mm -hmm. That guy tried to kill me once. You don't forget or forgive something like that. <laughs> Chosen. What's up? The power tool? What's he got there? Some sort of hand yeah. tool? I feel like he's just working. <laughs> he probably thinks he's gonna kill somebody. But no. Good for cutting bone. Watch him be like a changed person mm -hmm. now. I mean, we thought that about Terry at first, yeah. too. Morning after filler pregnancy test. Oh yeah. my gosh! <laughs> I guess she gets this a lot. <laughs> pregnancy test, please. Or two, or however many come in a box. Aisle two, plenty of options. Who goes to the counter yeah, to ask for that? Yeah, I was gonna say, that? like, you could just go walk to the, you know, aisle. The condoms? <laughs> There's no way these were purchased at a real pharmacy. It doesn't matter when my money back. Is that the best one? You can buy the premium version, whatever you like. Johnny. No. It's just when Shannon was pregnant with Robbie, I wasn't ready. I felt useless. I don't want to be that guy again. I understand. Miguel was a surprise too, and I was scared, but now we have each other, right? Oh. Oh. Please. She's very calm about this, which is good. Yeah. Well, look, that could be. <laughs> He's worried that that's gonna be him. Oh God, no, I think I'm gonna get sick. No. <laughs> Looks like you're still not ready. Oh, shit. Carmen, oh. Johnny, this should be simple. And you're making me nervous. Look, I'll take the test later. Okay. Maybe in the meantime, you can figure out how not to be that guy. I feel like she kind of overreacted. Yeah. To be honest. I mean, like, you were so casual. Like, I might be pregnant to somebody you're, like, kind of dead. I mean, they're together, but, yeah. like, you know, it's, they haven't been together that long. But they're going to be connected. <laughs> 
And you don't even know for sure yet. What the fuck? What is this? Is that the like... The, the sensory... Deprivation? Yeah. I think someone died in one of those once. Mm. I don't know like the details surrounding it. But yeah, they, I, I actually have out no ever idea. Since I heard that. Maybe Sam is okay and you guys are just reading too much into it. My friend, this is a five alarm fire. If anything, <laughs> we're not reading into it enough. Maybe y'all should just talk. I yeah, know. For my girlfriend. That's so sweet. Is it a birthday, an anniversary? He left the country without telling her during the <laughs> biggest karate fight of her life. How about a nice pair of earrings? How much is that? Probably the expensive. Octopus? Oh. It's Timothy. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> Look at the price tag. Afford it. Actually, it's been reduced. <laughs> Probably still expensive. To what? Like 500 from 600? After tax, $182. Oh, that's very reasonable. I mean, for a high schooler, though, that's not. Not for an octopus. Like, mm. I would not spend that much money on an octopus necklace. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, listen, I've been telling you to get rid of that Italian piece of shit for years. <laughs> this dude, he's like thinking that he's actually like a killer. He's got a wedding ring, so somebody loves him. <laughs> <laughs> now, for me to do my very best. I feel like he owns this factory. 50%. You owe me that much after what happened last time. He's <laughs> probably talking about legs on like a table or something. Those kids are in for a big surprise. Bugs, no! Listen to me, oh. son of a bitch. Oh. I'm not going <laughs> to have you or your ponytail pimp play one finger on any of our <laughs> This is so <laughs> awkward. Daniel LaRusso? He got that right, <laughs> shithead. You hear me, Mr. Bastard? I'm on to you and I'm on to the whole goddamn thing. I'm, I'm sorry, who is this? You interrupted his work. Yeah, I promise I will have the Japanese cedar chairs done. <laughs> yeah. Opens. What's going on here? <laughs> but what are you talking about? You, you like barged him. in? <laughs> you like stalked him. You work in a furniture store? Daniel, I own the furniture store. Y'all are kind of similar now. Yeah. You both own stuff. <laughs> you both own stuff? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> the like intense <laughs> music. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a train. A lot of work to do before your little blessing arrives. Oh, behind it, beer. Oh, the beer. <laughs> beer. Y'all don't even know if she is yet or not. I know. I feel like, what if he hypes himself up and then oh, gets like yeah. super disappointed? You need to look in every nook and cranny for things like mold, pests, and other hazards. Oh my Ew. gosh! <laughs> Gross! Oh, yeah! Fuck! <laughs> I'm sorry. I fucking hate roaches. They don't fucking scare me, they just fucking gross me the fuck out. I hate them. If you think this was hard, wait till the baby arrives. Well, thanks for stressing everyone out, lady. And how long have you been laying there? <laughs> like, you just sprayed? Is that what happens? I doubt it. <laughs> but, I mean, I've always I just... Know, I've heard that it, like, like... You just, like, lay there in water in, like, a dark pod, right? I don't know. I think sometimes people see stuff. I don't know. Tell us if you've done <laughs> it. I, I want to know. I feel like she should be seeing Anthony with his Uncrustable too. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> you ate the Uncrustables. You ate all the fucking Uncrustables. Tori. Oh, it's herself. Her. Self-reflection. Darth Sam. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> You're fighting the dark part of yourself <laughs> in the, the, the chamber. Sensory <laughs> deprivation this chamber. This is making me want to go do it now. Nah. It's like, I need to I go fight my demons. My <laughs> what if, like, I'm the Sith self and I see my, like, good self? Then what? I oh, know, your good self That's is gonna, telling like, you all the ways crazy. you fuck up. <laughs> I need something. I, I mean, I haven't even seen him in years. I, I just don't know what I could do to help. I understand. What if he's lying and Terry already yeah, reached out? No, there are some ex Cobra Kai out there who actually don't want to get in a fight with me. <laughs> of course, if you ever wanted a rematch, you know where to find me. <laughs> <laughs> I look at okay, you, man. You're looking good there. <laughs> oh, oh Joseph! <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was gonna. <laughs> oh, shit! Turn no mercy. No! Oh, oh, Joseph, oh, what the oh, hell? Oh, oh, crap. Well, now it just got weird. Yeah. <laughs> This is a fight that should not have happened. I know. Well, also thinking about like the villain from uh, Karate Kid yeah. 2 going against the villain from the Karate Kid 3. <laughs> <laughs> Chosen! Guys, stop! 
He didn't attack me. He's on the same side. Wait a minute, this guy's with you? What the hell, Daniel? This is just a giant misunderstanding. If this is misunderstanding, you better call ambulance. What? Oh, oh shit! He just kicked all their asses! <laughs> I thought he was like, kind of I was like, for his bloody nose? And I was like, what? Look, Daniel, the only thing I can think of is that. Back in the day, Silver had this shady ass attorney. I mean, this guy was totally off the books, right? As a matter of fact, he did my contract for me. I mean, what kind of attorney draws up the paperwork detailing the terms of one teenager terrorizing another? Wait, he <laughs> made you sign a contract? If people know this contract existed, Silver's reputation would be destroyed. They'd never let Cobra Kai compete again. This is exactly what we need. Tell me you still have it. Daniel, no way. I mean, I, mean, I might be able to dig up that attorney's name. I see you liking that tufted blue suede. <laughs> no, is he trying to sell it? How much? Well, it's normally twelve hundred, but what the hell? For you, two grand. <laughs> <laughs> Can you ship it to Japan. <laughs> client of yours, Terry Silver. This is very urgent. Please give me a call back ASAP when you get this message. Thank you. You don't think that it's still his attorney? He bought it. <laughs> Careful! Don't get blood on Where are you gonna put it? I know, in the car? but on top of the car? Uh oh, let's see how this goes. I shouldn't have abandoned you like that. I was trying to start a new chapter and figure out my past. You don't need to explain. I mean, I'm sorry too. I was only okay. thinking about myself. I... It looks like it's going positively. I really respect you for taking okay, the time This is going good. Oh, this is good. Yeah. Oh, but there's a fucking butt. Can't break up. I need that time too. Oh shit. Ever since my dad opened the dojo, my whole life has been about karate. It's affected all the relationships in my life with, with my family, with my friends, with you. I need a little break to figure out who I am outside of all that. When you say break, what do you? Mm. Break means break, break up. up. It always does, even mm. when you say it doesn't. You just don't want to add those last two letters. Mm. A break for me. <laughs> Not okay right now, and I don't think I will be until I figure this out for myself. Oh, oh, Miguel! Oh, he bought it. Oh, he had gotten it. Oh. Oh, he's just gonna Aww. drop it there. This morning, I didn't think I could be one of those lame dads with the baby carrier and the diapers and all that crap. <laughs> but if it means I'm doing it with you, our child, I'll do whatever it takes. I feel like she's not pregnant now. Mm -hmm. I have something to confess. She's not. Uh -huh. I took the test. All right, whatever it says, I'm ready. Good. Because we're having a baby. Oh, oh yes! yes! <laughs> I'm so excited! <laughs> Johnny. Aww. Aww. Now how's Miguel and Robbie gonna take it? I know shit, yeah. <laughs> You're getting a brother! Both of you! Or sister. Nothing like a good steam to start the day off right. <laughs> Hi, I'm calling in regard to a former client. It's Terry. Terry Silver. Yeah. It's very urgent. Please give me a call back <laughs> ASAP when you get this message. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I warned you. Oh, this dude has like gosh. the fucking resources of Tony Stark. I know. <laughs> You and I are going to be seeing a lot more of each other. Oh, that's fire. Did he burn down his <gasps> Did he like burn down his shop? Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Terry is fucking crazy. Well, man. that shows us he was not working with him at all. Yeah, no sh wow. shit. Okay. So, there is a vision I have and it might sound like really fan servicey and kind of ridiculous and maybe it's just me and my Marvel fandom like wanting it to have like an Avengers Assemble type moment but I want to see Chosen, I want to see Daniel, I want to see Johnny, I want to see Mike now and I want to see Kreese all yeah. go up against fucking like Thanos Terry here. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty cool, actually. So Carmen and Johnny are having a baby. Really excited that's about that. That's exciting. I feel like that's gonna be exciting for the story going forward too. Um, and I guess the next step is like, how are you gonna tell the kids? Yeah. You know, Miguel is kind of going through it this season. Uh, yeah. Obviously, the first two episodes dealing with his father getting broken up with by Sam. Sam is still struggling with like her own internal demons and. I feel like some of that is going to be a confrontation with Tori at some point, too, because there's always been this tension that they've had between each other. Um, honestly, it's kind of hard to remember exactly everything that happened, but I know a lot of it stemmed from Miguel. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, that relationship's over, but, I mean, it was over before, too, and they got back together, even when it seemed like it wasn't going to happen. And most people, like, assume when you take, like, a break, okay, it's probably never going to yeah. happen again. But who knows in this show? Uh, but regardless... I don't know how Miguel is going to take it. I would hope that he would take it positively, the fact that, you know, he's going to have a sibling. Um, but hopefully that also kind of goes back to him. And, you know, the beef that he had with Robbie. And we got, like, a little bit of, a, like, a drop by Johnny about, like, that situation and the drive back from Mexico, saying that it was really quiet. I kind of hope that it goes more beyond that. I want to see some interaction between Robbie and Miguel to see at least that hatchet get buried um because i feel like that is probably the closer out of the two to like getting more i don't know the right word but more of like a, a cordial type mm -hmm. uh it doesn't have to be friends but it could just be like cordial kind of like johnny mm -hmm. and daniel in my opinion because they work together sometimes but obviously they still butt heads to this day uh but it's really cool to see them work together and i feel like it'd be really cool to see like miguel and uh robbie work together because that's not really something that we've seen. The first season ended with their fight. The second season ended with Miguel fucking falling and then Johnny on the run. I mean, Robbie on the run after that. So um, I feel like it'd be really cool to see an advancement of that and kind of get closer to where Robbie, or sorry, Daniel and Johnny are. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can stay notified for our future videos. And also head over to our Patreon if you want to see our full-length reaction to this series. We uploaded over there. The link's down in the description below. Okay, we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.